Have you ever wondered about yarn? You know, beyond what you see, but its origins? Of all the materials used by humans throughout history, few have been as essential and versatile as yarn. From the earliest days of civilization, people spun fibers into yarn to create clothing, blankets, and other necessities. The story of yarn's origins is a fascinating one, spanning thousands of years and countless cultures. Today, I would like to briefly explore the history of yarn and its evolution from a simple spun fiber to the modern mass-produced yarn of today and the role that yarn has played in human societies. Let's unravel the history of yarn and spin a tale of how this humble material has shaped our world. start with the origin of the word yarn. It is derived from the Old English word jern, which means spun fiber. Yarn has been used for thousands of years, dating back to ancient times when people began domesticating animals for their wool and using plant fibers to create clothing. The earliest evidence of yarn comes from the Middle East, where fragments of yarn and woven cloth were found in ancient tombs dating back to 5000 BCE. The ancient Egyptians also used yarn extensively, with evidence of spinning wheels and looms dating back to 4000 BCE. In ancient times, spinning was a laborious process that was done entirely by hand. Women and girls would spin yarn using a drop spindle, which is a simple tool consisting of a stick with a weighted bottom. The spinner would attach a mass of fibers to the top of the spindle and then twirl it to create a twist in the fibers. The spindle would then be lowered, allowing more fiber to be added, and the process repeated until a length of yarn was created. The introduction of spinning wheel in the 14th century revolutionized the production of yarn. The spinning wheel allowed spinners to create longer, more uniform strands of yarn in less time. The spinning wheel was used extensively throughout Europe and eventually made its way to the Americas during the colonial period. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes in the production of yarn. The invention of power looms and the cotton gin allowed for mass production of yarn and fabrics. This led to the growth of textile industries and the development of modern factories. Digging a little deeper into the last 100 years of yarn and yarn craft, we see that in the early 1900s, yarn craft was primarily seen as a practical skill that was passed down from generation to generation. Knitting, crocheting, and weaving were essential skills that were used to create clothing, blankets, and other household items. Yarn was often made by hand, and natural fibers such as wool, cotton, and silk were the most commonly used materials. As the 20th century progressed, yarn craft began to evolve. The development of synthetic fibers such as acrylic, nylon, and polyester led to a wider variety of yarn available for crafting. These new fibers were less expensive than natural fibers and offered a wider range of colors and textures. During the mid-1900s, yarn craft also became popular as a form of artistic expression. Many artists began using yarn to create sculptures and installations as the popularity of fiber art exhibitions and galleries grew. This was also a time when knitting and crocheting began to be seen as hobbies rather than just practical skills. The 1960s and 70s saw a surge of interest in yarn crafts as a form of self-expression and creativity. This was the era of the hippie movement and yarn crafts were often associated with a counterculture lifestyle. Macrame, a form of knotting using yarn or cord, became particularly popular during this time. In the 1980s and 1990s, yarn craft continued to evolve. New techniques such as tapestry and freeform knitting and crocheting emerged, allowing for more artistic freedom and experimentation. The popularity of yarn craft also grew as a result of renewed interest in DIY and handmade goods. Today, yarn craft continues to evolve and adapt to changing trends in technology. Social media platforms like Instagram and Pinterest have made it easier for crafters to share their work and connect with others in the community. The popularity of eco-friendly and sustainable products have also led to a renewed interest in natural fibers and eco-conscious yarn production. We also have seen a renewed interest in yarn and yarn crafts over the last 10 years. 
where interest in all fiber crafts like knitting, crocheting, hand spinning, and hand dyeing yarns have become popular hobbies, with many people enjoying the tactile experience of creating the yarn from scratch. So, yarn craft has undergone significant changes over its history, evolving from practical necessity to a form of artistic expression that reflects changing culture and technological trends. The long and fascinating history of yarn spans thousands of years from its humble beginnings as a simple spun fiber to the modern mass-produced yarn of today that is used for warmth, fashion, or creative expression. Whether you prefer traditional techniques or the latest innovation in yarn craft, there has never been a better time to get creative with yarn. So, whether you choose to knit, crochet, weave, or spin your own yarn, the possibilities are endless and yarn continues to be an essential part of our lives. And that's a wrap, yarn lovers. I've taken you on a journey through an incredible history of yarn and yarn crafts, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So, what yarn craft do you do? Knitting, crocheting, weaving, spinning, cross-stitching, embroidery, or dyeing yarns? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that button and give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to share this video with your fellow yarn enthusiasts. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I couldn't do it without you. Happy yarn crafting!